Is there a secret to staying ripped after 50? Who said I'm older than 50? I'm 36. Somebody had, will somebody fix this? Hi there, I'm Frank Grillo and Esquire has asked me to explain some things about my life and career. Frank Grillo is the action anti-hero we all need right now. I agree with that. When you play the hero, you have to, like Chris Evans, kind of be the nice guy and do the right thing. When you're the anti-hero, people expect you to get the job done by whatever means necessary. And sometimes people get hurt. I've been waiting for this! And so that's what's fun about it. And there's, it's kind of unapologetic. And I love to do it. Can you tell us anything about your role in Marvel's What If? Uh, yeah, I can. What? Stop! Stop the truck! It's, it's pretty much Brock Rumlow from the Captain America movies. You know, he's still kind of the, uh, the bad guy. I like to consider him the anti-hero. And he's very misunderstood and very underused. Oh, come on! Somewhere Kevin Feige might kill me. No, I'm kidding. I think Crossbones is gone from the MCU, except in What If, in, this, in the What If series. We might see a little bit more of Crossbones there. Would you be open to appearing in the DC Universe? 1000% yes. I actually love DC and I actually love Deathstroke. So that would be very cool. And this is not the first time I've been asked about this. So that would be a lot of fun. Which of your eight upcoming movies is your favorite? I love a few of them a lot. I do have a movie coming out in November called Ida Red that I did with Josh Hartnett and Melissa Leo, and it's a uh, crime thriller set in Oklahoma, and I'm really excited about it. We, we uh, I think we pulled off something really cool. I think they really understand how far her reach goes. She wants us to clean it up. I'll do it. But I'm excited about all of them. They're all fun. <laughs> I have to tell you, the movie I just finished, which was about Ferruccio Lamborghini, who created the Lamborghini car, required me to age, required me to do an Italian accent, uh, required me to be still and not kill anybody. And for me, that was probably the most difficult role so far and the most serious role that I've ever been privileged to play. And uh, so hopefully it's, it's not, it's not, it's either gonna be really great or really bad. <laughs> What was it like working with your son on Boss Level? It's my son, Rio, is in Boss Level. He plays my son, Joe, in the movie. Uh, it was a joy, mostly, but he did upstage me a few times. He kind of stole a little bit of my thunder, and uh, really quickly, he's been offered other movies, and he's decided he's not interested. He's like, if Marvel call, bro, Marvel's not calling. You're, you're 13. <laughs> Thoughts on playing Batman? A uh, couple of things. Uh, I'm too old, I'm too Italian, and I'm too New York. Uh, so there you have it. Those are my thoughts. <laughs> but I am excited to see Pattinson uh, do it. I think he might be might be one of the best Batman yet. So I am excited. Upcoming thriller, Paradise Highway. I totally forgot. That slipped my mind. That's another one I'm excited about. I got to play with the wonderful Juliette Binoche who plays my sister and the incredible Morgan Freeman. And it's a, it's a very serious thriller about sex trafficking. And uh, it, it is a beautifully written story. And Juliette Binoche and I had an amazing connection as brother and sister. And I was a little bit starstruck by Juliette Binoche. And I have worked with everyone from Mel and Liam and Sly, and and a lot of great women, Naomi Watts, but Juliette Binoche to me has always been the one. And I had to even tell her that I was a little intimidated to work with her. And she said to me, you should be. What's the most challenging part about filling Sylvester Stallone's shoes in Nighthawks? Um, everything. Occupation, cop. Uh, I have become uh, friends with Sly, which is kind of weird in itself, 
But uh, yeah, Nighthawks, which we are going to redo as a limited series. I'm going to play his character. He's going to direct. And I still consider myself, you know, a guy coming up in the business, even though I'm, I'm very old. And just to step into Stallone's shoes and have him direct me, it's, uh, it's kind of still hasn't sunk in. It's a little surreal, but I could not be more excited. And he's excited, which makes me even more excited. So... How do you prepare for such physical roles like the one in boss level? That's a great question. And I prepared by training for four months, six hours a day in boxing and jujitsu and strength and conditioning. My diet was uh, very specific and uh, that had to carry through right, right through the film, which was only a 27 day shoot. So for a movie like that, it should have been twice as many days. And uh, again, I was in a lot of pain when, when I finished that film. So much so that I was supposed to go do another movie and I actually couldn't do it. Anyway, uh, what I really want to say is thanks everyone for watching and uh, putting up with me. I appreciate it.